Hey guys, welcome back to Make It With Mod Podge. I'm Kathy Fillion and thanks so much for being with me today. I'm going to show you a really fun craft using seashells. I'm doing some napkin decoupage right onto the seashell and look at how cute these turn out. Now this is a classic craft, it's been around forever and it's a really fun beginner project. You can use these as ring dishes. You can see here I have one glued just to create some home decor art. These make great bridesmaids gifts or party favors. They're just gorgeous. Now I'm using a selection of floral napkins and botanicals. Look at all of these beautiful different designs. And then to create that sort of faux gold leafing, which is what you would see traditionally on the Victorian seashells, I'm using Treasure Gold by Folk Art. And that really just finishes them off. All right, this is a super easy, fun project for summer. Let's dive right in and start crafting. You're going to start with some flat, clean shells. The larger, the better for ring dishes. And grab some paper napkins. This shell is almost the size of my hand and I got it online. I'm using Mod Podge Satin for this project. We're gonna separate the plies of the napkin. I'm only working with the top printed ply. I like to move my shell around on the napkin and find the motif that I really want to feature. Then just trim your napkin to size, but you want it to be a little bit larger than the shell. Then you're just gonna apply your Mod Podge directly to the inside of the shell and this is again the satin Mod Podge, but you could use matte or gloss. And this is just a little water. I'm gonna spritz my napkin with water. That will help with the wrinkles and it will help it to smooth over those curved edges. Then just use your fingers to gently tap it into position and you can use your brush to push down. There might be an air bubble or two, so you wanna use your fingers and the brush to remove any of those little air pockets that might form. You can smooth out wrinkles with your fingers as well. While your napkin is still damp, you'll just pull it from the edge of the shell, pulling it downwards and it will tear along the edge. Then you can add a little bit more Mod Podge and smooth with your fingers to clean up the edges. Then you can top coat with more Mod Podge. This is satin, but you could use gloss or matte. And you're gonna let that thoroughly dry. And once it's dry, you're ready to add the treasure gold. It looks like a real gold leaf. And for that, I just use a paintbrush and I kind of tap it along the edge just to give it that gold along the edge. I'm doing a thin line here, but you can do a thick line or a thin line, or you can skip this process altogether. I'm doing gold, but you could do this in silver or copper, whatever color you like. Now on the bottom side there, I'm adding a much thicker section just to highlight that natural shape where you would have your clamping. This is one coat and now I'm gonna let that dry and I will apply a second top coat and that really gives it the gold luster look. This will be dry in about an hour. You could seal again with more Mod Podge if you wanted to. Look how stunning these turn out. These are great little ring dishes and they make great gifts. I just love how gorgeous these all turn out. Now, some of you might be wondering where I got these shells. I did order these online. You can find them at most of the craft stores. Also, they're usually in the floral department. Now, if you were so lucky to find a large shell like this on the beach, you would wanna take it home and wash it and boil it in some hot water. And then once it's dried out, you'll be good to go for your crafting. And the napkins, I get them at all different places. And if you wanna do a selection like this where you have lots of different prints check online for all of those napkin swaps it's a really great place where you can get one or two napkins and not a whole package thanks so much for joining me today i'll be back here next week with another fun project to share with you and until then have a crafty week